I worked on this painting in 2020 in time to give it to my husband for Christmas last year. That's my husband in a wheelchair. He's been here at Hepburn House in Dalesford, a lovely site, for the last two years. And like most places that we moved to, it's a very rural scene at the time that we moved to with the lovely green hills. But, uh, well, the development starting and they're beginning to build the new stage of this Hepburn house, basically doubling the size of it. So my husband will soon be overlooking the new building more than the hills. So like everywhere we've been, there's progress changing and we're changing with it. So we may relocate. Now, I'm just, as you can see, just working with three colours. It's a, it's a lovely way to, to learn to mix your paints. I mix on the paper. Now, we're coming into the new year and you may not have seen me here on YouTube for about two months. And that's because I'm an artist and author more than a YouTuber. I use YouTube, but I'm not dedicated to it. It's a lovely way to share work with people and to hear your comments and uh, get to know you. But uh, I would recommend that you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to follow my progress because I can't commit to doing one video a week. I do them as often as I can. And I'm going to put up some of my older videos to fill in the gap while I'm in a transition stage here. I'm rather busy. I'm writing a series of four cosy mystery novels and I'm really enjoying it. I got back to painting at the beginning, um, painting, sorry, writing my novels at the beginning of November 2021 after a long break doing YouTube videos and painting and I just loved it. I hadn't written a novel for a fair while, so I wasn't even sure if I could do it again. That's what happens when you take a break, and um, it just fell into place, and I've loved it. Since then, I have um, published for this Christmas a lovely little um, fun romantic comedy that's got a dog and a cat in it, and. I have also got a novella coming out, a historical fiction novella, coming out about mid-January 2022. And I hope that my first cosy mystery novel in a new series will come out about mid-year and be very quickly followed by the series of four in the... And they'll be set in this rural setting that it we're painting in at the moment. So that's what my plans have been. I've also been designing some book covers and also utilising the skills of the other very talented book designers. So a little bit of mixture of my artwork and others. Other changes have been that my beautiful professional set of soft pastels have been passed on to another very talented artist who will have a lot more time to use them than I've had, given that I'm now doing my books, my novels, as well as my painting. So I will be sharing some soft pastel painting demonstrations here, but don't subscribe just for the soft pastels because uh, they'll be limited in how many videos I'll have because I won't be doing any more. I've passed them on, as I said, to another highly talented artist and that will allow me the time to do more of my writing. Now, if you go across to my website, which is my name, runshell.com, you'll be able to subscribe to my newsletter where you'll find out more about my novels. You'll also get links to where I have my art prints available and my Patreon site where I've got tutorial and art available. So there's a lot that is over there and just watch out for the various pages. There's pages that link off of the main opening page and that will also show you some written tutorials that you may in be interested in reading. Even um, blogs about my trips around Australia because we've painted on location all around the countryside. So there's a lot of information over there. Also a fair bit about Seniors Health. Uh, I'm 
been very motivated to, to try to stay as fit as I can, even though I'm now 75. So I love just generally writing non-fiction as well as fiction. And I love to have your comments and uh, hear what it is that you're interested in having me write about in my blogs. So pop over and subscribe to my newsletter because I do offer free review copies to my newsletter readers of many of my books and uh, also subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell if you want to know when I'm putting out my next video. Happy creativity! This painting took me two hours to complete, but many hours to edit for you. And the full tutorial with voiceover took about 20 hours to produce for you. That will be on my website. Please subscribe if you enjoy these. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you.